Tonight I'm making chicken, and I get to use my new cutting board. Hope we don't have any vegetarian viewers. <laughs> enough. Mitch, what do you think of the new cutting board setup? I love it. It is a total pleasure to be able to cut food this way. I used to have to cut it on this area here and it would like fly everywhere and get stuck in corners and in fall into the fridge and stuff like that this way. If it falls, it falls right into the sink. And the cutting boards are so sturdy and nice. It's perfect. And I can just come over here and rinse my hands. And there's no spinach. I love my new galley setup. All it needs is an oven. It's in the mail. Today is Sunday, so there's not much we can get done. However, we can play a little game of Iota. It's always good to have a very small, compact games on the boat. And we're gonna eat our bilge cheese, which has been in the bilge for... Two years. Two years, yeah, just about two years. Two years ago, we broke up some feta and put it in olive oil with a whole bunch of seasonings and stuff and it's supposedly super super good the parties did it and that's how we heard of it and uh, we have already eaten our smaller jar but that was like a year ago so now we're getting the two-year-old one hey you look at that cheese separation right there mm -hmm. <laughs> dang i sealed this up nice and tight <laughs> <laughs> hmm <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it. Nice. A lot of cheese you're getting there. <laughs> what do you expect? This is why I didn't want to open it until we hit Europe. Because <laughs> otherwise it would have been gone before the Bahamas. So Maddie has been not badgering or pestering, but just asking incessantly about opening up the big bilge cheese that we have in the bilge. Because we had two. We had a quart size bottle. And then this sucker's a gallon, I think. Yeah, so we had like a big jar and then a giant jar of cheese. So we opened the big one and I did that one like a test to see how quickly would she go through the cheese. And the answer is very fast. Okay. So the good part is they sell feta here and it's at a reasonable price. So we'll be able to make new built cheese before we leave. Look, Look at this rosemary. It's two years old. <laughs> it's been sitting in oil. I think we grew that. Yep, that's yeah. from the Stern Garden. Yeah. What are your thoughts? I'm a little nervous. It is two-year-old cheese. When I gave it a little taste. Ew. Only if you don't talk like that. Okay. Let me just... Oh my god. Oh. There's so much flavor. Mmm. Oh! The oil has gotten through the bread. <laughs> mm. Mm. There you have it. It is approved as delicious, even though it's two years old and never been refrigerated. Morning. We are on our way to meet Matt and Jessica from MJ Sailing. They are here on the island as well, so we're late. <laughs> so, Jess, do you want to uh, introduce us? I would love to. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, 
My name is Jessica, and this is my husband, Matt. And we are also cruisers, YouTube bloggers that happen to be in Taisera right now. Yes. With the rigging doctors. So yep. pop by to say hello and get a wonderful tour of their boat. And they just did some awesome remodels, so it's looking great in here. Well, we've been, we've been in the same spot for how long now? Since July. Yeah, we finally were able to meet up. It's yeah. uh, <laughs> been a little difficult tracking both of us down. They're back to the U.S. We're, we're in, in Thailand. Thailand and, and yeah, it's amazing. But uh, it, it's funny because of the YouTube thing. We've been able to meet so many different people now because of this that you we wouldn't meet otherwise. No. We'd just be strangers passing each other. And yeah, and if it wasn't for like the YouTube and social media, we could be here just a town away and not even know that the other one is there. So it's really nice that uh, it gives us the opportunity to actually connect. Yeah. As much as I hate social media, it's sort of <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, that kind of stuff. It's our it, life force now. It does actually work connecting people. Aww. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg would be so happy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, when did you guys do the crossing over here? July? June, July? We left St. Martin in mid June. Yeah. And we arrived to Horda uh, just a few days into July, but then we just fell in love with the Azores. The plan had been to go to Ireland. We were, we were planning on originally when we when we hit land here, we were going to stay here for one week. See, uh, that was your first mistake was having a plan. Yeah, usually <laughs> we had a schedule. We had a schedule, and well, what it was was we found out that we could get a ninety day extension or possibly get a ninety day extension for our visa here. And, and in that's Portugal. that was really the catalyst. That was the thing, and we realized that sitting in Ireland in the UK for winter would not Feel be a pleasant dreary. thing. So those things combined with us actually staying here. Yeah. Yeah. That's so we did some island bouncing. Uh, we had been to the Azores back in two thousand fourteen. Had just a touch of exploring them, but now we really got to get in depth, so that has been just fantastic because we feel and we've heard that so many people just kind of like pass over these islands as just a stopping point on their way across the ocean, but there are really so much more. Did you guys say what kind of boat you have? It's a custom aluminum boat, a 1983 Trisalu 37, built in Quebec. Yeah. Wow, that's very specific. Yes. <laughs> well, I can't just say it's like a Bavaria. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. That's yeah. really cool. And they're in uh, Praia right now. Yeah, we also have our boat on the hard to do a few projects. And then instead of heading to the Med, like these guys, we are heading north to Norway. So we're going cold. Yes, colder and then, than this. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be wishing we were in the Med the entire time. I think. Oh, no, we'll love Norway. We'll wish we had You're more You're welcome to visit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the I plan. see my bed right Yeah, there. I was yeah. going to say, we have a quarter of Earth. It fits too uncomfortably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah yours is actually a little bit more. You could actually sleep in yours. Ours has been uh, nothing but storage. Storage unit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Ours too, for the most part. <laughs> Up until yesterday, what yeah. was it? <laughs> Yesterday yeah. or last night? <laughs> oh, well, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. They've got family coming. So. <gasps> Do you really? Yeah, my mom's coming. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Has she been here before yet? Nope. Mm. Nobody mm. has visited us. No, they don't. No. Yeah. Everyone says <laughs> they they won't. all make plans yep. and then no one comes. That's so. why when we got this boat, it can only sleep the two of us. We, yeah. Unfortunately, we can't bring anybody on uh, because with our first boat, everyone said they were going to come visit and nobody did. Or if they did, they got a hotel. So we're like, well, we're not going to keep this, like, empty bunk, you know? Yeah. So just use it. Filling, filling use it. Stuff and, well, yeah, uh, above your heads that you see our other bunk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think I'd want to sleep there either. So I think that's probably a much better choice. Exactly. Back. Yeah. So, yeah, now it's our boat little fits tight. the two of us. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. Yeah. So that's what, when we built this one, it was uh, setting up for just the two of us yeah. was the intent. So we have no privacy beyond a bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, that's the only door that closes. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, awesome, guys. Thanks so much for uh, coming over. It was great to meet you. Well, thanks, thanks for, for having us. us. Finally. Yes, I know. <laughs> Emails and all that kind yeah. of stuff. It's Instagram hard, but... messages. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Instagram. And yeah. you like taking our packages and then forwarding them on. Which, again, thank you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. No problem. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have this lovely phone right yes. now. That's what was in there. Yeah. 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 It's our missing phone. <laughs> <laughs> We are headed back to the CEF agent, back to the um, immigration officer today. We are going to make this work. So we're going to talk to him, hopefully settle this, and uh, then we're going to do a couple more errands, but this this is really weighing on us. So uh, we'll, we'll report back afterwards with what happened, and here we go.
we're, we've gotten really tired of him saying one thing and then the consulate saying something else and then it, just this back and forth where neither one to do anything and they both say it's the other one's job to do that so our plan is if he's not going to do what the consulate said he's supposed to be doing we want him to put in writing whatever he says he's to do or what needs to happen and then the second thing if this doesn't go we're gonna get a lawyer and we're just gonna lawyer up because apparently without a lawyer this can take between six months to a year with a lawyer it only takes one month and the reason is the lawyer comes in when they say some cockamamie story the lawyer says no that's not how it is and then all of a sudden they seem to fly straight so we're we're tired of this we want it to happen so we need it to happen we need it to happen we need it to happen fast all right, we went to the CEF agent and she quickly disclaimed everything that the uh, person had said on the phone yesterday over in DC at the consulate's office and basically said what she had requested was illegal. Luckily, we had emailed her with the same request to cancel our um, previously submitted application for a worker's visa and reapply for the residency visa and since it was an email she couldn't write down the illegal part and therefore just put it through and we got an email today after meeting with this staff agent that we're through we got the visa so we're praying that this is legitimate and uh, we're going to see her again tomorrow and just get everything settled and Oh, hopefully this is, hopefully this is all done. What the consulate said was, please mail the passports, mail our passports to her in DC with an envelope to send them back to us and she'll stamp them there and then we have our visas. But we're going back in May. So we don't want to be here in a foreign country without our passports. Yeah, not having our passports is bad because what if they don't come back before our May 1st flight back to the States? Now what? So. Our plan is we'll go talk with the CEF agent, see see what we do, and just make sure that everything's up to snuff because we've got a track record with this consulate of stuff being out there. It's looking good. Meanwhile, we've got a lot to do today, so we're headed back to the boat to get all of our sails out of the quarter berth and up onto the deck where they belong. So that's really exciting. Then we're gonna get the whole cockpit put back in order and deck cleaned off. And so uh, we're gonna look ship shape. From exhausted trees with no one else but you and me to see. We walked. So we are unbagging our sails. And this is Josh, our jib, who has soft hanks. So the question of what is a hank? This this guy is a hank. So normally, on most sails, you open the hank by pulling the barrel pin, and then the stay goes in here, and the pin closes, and it's hanked on. But the problem is, if you put a bronze hank on Dyneema, it can saw right through it. So what you do is you open the hank, and you put this webbing through, and the stay sits in here, inside the, the webbing. So this is soft, which is why they call it a soft hank. And that's the only difference between a uh, steel head stay and a Dyneema head stay. If you don't want to go through the process of getting soft tanks sewn on, you can make your own soft tanks out of little Dyneema loops. Uh, they're pretty easy to make, so it's not a onerous project. The tack of the sail, which attaches to the stem of the boat, uh, we use a stainless steel U-bolt because it's insanely strong. So all you need to do is put the U-bolt through the tack and then the, the U-bolt through the stem. That is all. all right, with that on there, so we do seize this. We do actually lock it on, but not for today because this is just spring decommissioning or spring commissioning. All right. Ugh. 
Eat your heart out, ladies. Now, if you'd like to see an informational video comparing Hank on sales to roller furling, we did do a video and we'll link to it in the description down below. I know I'm flaking the entire sail onto the port bow, and a lot of people do alternating, one side to the port, one to the starboard, and back and forth. The idea of back and forth is then you have less folds in the sail, but the truth is then you end up with this giant, clunky, lumpy sail up at the bow, and you can't get to your anchor. So I like to have it all on the port side, and then the starboard is clear for me to access the anchor. This is Stan, our staysail. Also hang on. And rather than soft hanks, these are regular hanks because they're going on to steel. Wow. But we still share a single heart. That's, That's a, a brief point. Brief. If you peel away the bar. Your branch in mine, they split and climbed apart. But we still share a single heart. If you peel away the bark, we still share a single heart. Did she cut off our old sail bag? Yeah, this is the cut off of our old sail bag. What the heck? I know. Our oven came in yesterday, so I'm gonna get it installed in here, and then with that, the galley is finished. So Sun Oven sponsored us a while back and sent us this oven. We have yet to try it out because we couldn't get it to the boat. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and message us directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.